Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find an S-Class hauler, a very rare one that has also crashed. So you're going to need to fix it up, but it is the best hauler you can get in the game, bar none. It has the most inventory slots, it has the highest stats of any hauler you can get. Now, there's different very levels of ships. You have your lower level, your middle levels, and your higher levels of ships. And it comes with every one of them. Like, this is my hauler right now. This is my current hauler right now. It is an A-class with 48 slots, general slots, and 40 or and 8 tech slots. And the biggest thing I like about this is that it looks pretty sweet. I mean, look at that thing. I like the wings. I like the whole setup of this thing. And it's a... It is what they call a high level, but it's only an A class. Now, every class has a, a low, middle, and high level. You can have a high level C class, but it's not really going to do you any good. I mean, you can have a, a C class that has 48 and 8 slots and the best stats, but it's the best stats for that class. So, we're going to be going for an S class hauler. And so, this is going to be the best one you can get in the game. Oh, yeah, portal. I have it marked. That way I know when I found the portal. But yeah, and so this is going to be the best of the best. S-Class is as good as it gets right now. Who knows if they're going to upgrade that in the future. But this is the best you could get. So here are the coordinates. And again, if you don't know how to get to portals or if you don't know how to use portals, you're going to need them for this. So link up top and down below in the description. But once you've reactivated all the glyphs, you could just go into any portal and just keep using it over and over, which is great. You never have to refill them. Once you've done it the first time, you can just keep doing it over and over. So let's activate this portal. Now, here are the glyphs. Let me let me look them up. I'm looking at them right now because I, I don't have them memorized. Yeah, I know, you guys. So it's going to be the weird... Um, I'm going to go with octopus this time. So octopus, octopus. And then you're going to go with this cool looking boat. Go back to the octopus two more times then you're gonna go with a dinosaur looking thing right there then the Triforce you're gonna do that twice and then you go to the dragonfly all the way on the other side and then the Triforce two more times one two and then this is gonna be the last one so get it all down either pause it or write it down or whatever but this cool little like stop sign looking symbol. This is the last one right there. So screenshot it, whatever you need to do, pause it on that part. That way you can get all the, the symbols and you're good to go because that's the hardest part. Sometimes if you mess up one symbol, you're gonna go to a different uh, system and it's not gonna take you to where you need to go. So you need to have those symbols exactly right. All those glyphs you need. So I'll see you when we get there. Yeah, okay, we are here. Now, I'm actually, this is going to be a discovered planet for the most part in most systems or in mo on most consoles if you're on PC, PS4, or Xbox One. So you're probably already going to land on it and someone already claimed it. That's fine. But what you're going to need to do is there's a, comm s there's a comm station right over there. That's probably where the crashed ship is, but... I'm going to show you how to do it without that, just because if, the, if you don't have multiplayer on and you don't have an internet connection, you're not going to see that. And so you see, it, when you go into your uh, your starship, go in the first person. If you don't know how to do that, here you go. You press down on your D-pad, you go all the way over to the gear icon, it says utilities. Click on that, and then go over one. It says switch starship view. Click on that, and it'll switch it, either third or first. And we want to go to first person, okay? Now, over on the bottom left, you see there's like a little radar, and it says Einheit 2111, and then there's a plus 15.11, and then a negative 173.62. That's what we're going to be looking at, because we are actually going to want to go to coordinates plus 20.88, and then plus 153.21. So that's what we're going to do. So let's launch up into the air and... You'll see as I start as I start flying, those numbers start moving. That's not it. Oh, someone put, made a cool little base though. 
Alright, so that, they didn't mark the thing. That's awesome. That, see, it's good to know. You need to know how to get there. And so, if you're looking at your, uh, your compass, north to south are going to affect the first number. So that plus 15, see how I'm going north and it's increasing pretty good? You're going to want to keep doing that and keep, pay attention to that because we need to get... Sorry, I dropped my phone real fast. We need to get to plus 20.88 and then plus 153. So we're at plus 16. And then we need to go to plus... So let's see which, what happens if we go this way. So we don't want to go east, we want to go west. Boom. So let's go west. Now you see how the number is going down? We need to do that because we're probably on the other side of the planet. And so I'm going to do some searching. I will show you guys when I get there. Yep, and it looks like we are coming up on it, you guys. And look at there is a whole bunch of communication stations here. So there are communication stations on Xbox One. There's probably going to be some on PS4 and PC as well. But again, if there are none, or if you're playing offline, that is totally fine. Just use your coordinates. You see right in the bottom left-hand corner of my ship right there. Plus 20.9 and then plus 153, okay? It's going to take a little bit of uh, work to get there, but you can also just... Hopefully you'll find uh, communications stations right there. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a different language. Thanks! Have you heard of the tragedy of Darth Plague the Wise? Alright, and now look at this. This is our, our crash taller. That is super awesome. Look at that. It's a hunter or a, a marvel of the Itakin. It's a 48 plus 8 slot. And it cost 112... Uh, was it 112? 126 million units, you guys. But the best thing about a crashed starship is that it's free. You can literally just switch it with the one you have now. Look at these stats. Look at that. Boom. Now, you're going to have to fix all of these pieces right here. But that's totally fine. Because you'll. it's so hard to find these kind of haulers. It is so hard to find. So, oh, God, I need to get rid of some of my uh, uh, technology. Before you do it, if you are maxed out and you're exchanging it, look at this. I, I can only exchange it. I can't buy it. It would say buy for zero if you don't have your ship inventory maxed out. But because I have the max number of starships, I can't get another one. I have to trade my old one for this new one. But before you do that, get everything out of your inventory. So I'm going to leave because this thing can't go anywhere. And I'm going to move all the stuff into... And I'm going to break down all of my uh, my uh, technology, too. So you can totally do that. Boom, boom. Because you can also use some of this to build and to repair your starship. So definitely do that. You know, break down as much as you can. Now you can't break that down. Indium drive. Break it all down because you can't take it with you. And you can use these parts to fix your new starship, okay? Always, always, always. So I'm going to do this. And I, yeah, you can't get rid of your pulse engine, your launch thruster, your hyperdrive, or your shield. And your photon cannon is always going to be there. Now, don't forget, you also have your tech inventory right here. Get rid of these ones as well. Don't forget about it. I've done that so many times where I've treated ship in. And I forgot about my tech inventory. You have all these pieces you can get. Because I wish you could just pick this up and put it in your new one, but you can't. You have to destroy it, get the parts from it. All right. Oh, I don't think I have enough room in here. Maybe I do. Well, we're going to find out. Exosuit. High capacity. Exosuit. Exosuit. Everything in the exosuit. Because I won't have that much room in the uh, starship because there's a lot of broken parts. All right, now I'm going to buy it. So let's compare and I'm trading. Remember, you're trading your old ship for the most part. Unless it says buy for zero dollars, you're trading it. So your old ship is going to be not in your inventory. 
And don't do what I just did. Holy crap. What did I do? I'm an idiot. So you'd always go back to your old ship. Oh, you can't! Oh, no! You can't go back. So I just lost all those those pieces I didn't bring with me. Dang it. Oh, well, at least I, I filled up my inventory. That's okay. I don't think I left anything super important in that inventory. Dang it! I thought you could. Now you get in here, it's going to say, hey, all your stuff is broken. Man, look at that. I have room to fix stuff. Okay, so you're going to need to fix your ship. It's just like when you first start out the game, okay? You're going to need to get some pieces. I left all the metal plating there, too. Dang it! <laughs> I can't believe that. All right. Now, when you look at this, you think, okay, there's all kinds of different parts? No. Like this, platinum, 200. If I, re if I fix that, now it's an inventory slot. And some of this stuff, a lot of this stuff is just going to be room. So you don't need that off the bat. You don't need to, you know, any of the space, unless you can do it. You know, boom, boom. I'm just trying to make some more room. That way I don't have to worry about fixing everything. Five. And you're going to need a lot of pieces, guys. So, you know, you're going to have to save up for it. But you can fly this thing as long as you fix what you need to fix. Like, you need to fix your pulse engines, you need to fix your shield, you need to fix your hyperdrive. You can fix all those things. I could get rid of this, I don't even need to, because I'm going to move it anyway, so get rid of that. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. So yeah, if you're not going to use some stuff, you can move it. Boom, and get rid of it. Blade of armor. Because I know I'm going to move it anyway, so why, why would I repair it when it's there? I'm going to move it. So screw it. All right. Uh, fix the. I need a. I need some metal plating. One, two. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna make five. Screw it. I also need a hermetic seal for that. So this is how you fix the pulse engine. And I don't even think you need to fix your hyperdrive. Maybe. And I need a microprocessor. I need one more microprocessor. So let's try it again. Can I make one? I need a no carbon nanotube. I can make one of those. So let's make one. Boom. Now I should be able to fix the uh, hyperdrive. Now I don't think you need to... Like you can fly it right now, right? Yep, you can fly it right now. So even though it's uh, like more than half broken, I just fixed the pulse engine, you can fly it right now. Now I would suggest you fix as much as you can while you can. So I know I could fix that, my hyperdrive. Done. I can fix my shield. Yes, I can. So sodium, sodium nitrate. And can I fix my photon cannon? Yes, I can. So all of that's fixed. Now it's just all my inventory slots, okay? So look at that. Let's go take a look at this thing. This thing looks pretty sexy. I liked my last one. This looks just like my last one, except for this one's blue. My last one had the staircase wings as well. So let's take a look. Yeah, that's pretty much the same starship. It's kind of weird. The front end is weird. Look at that. Okay, that's a weird front end. But, I mean, it's a pretty sexy looking hauler. I love the wings. I always like those kind of cool wings on it. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, hopefully you guys liked this tip video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, Subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading episodes all the time, and I will see you guys in the next one.